Hey guys, this is the Otimi Warrior here, and I wanted to make another video talking about AX. Since we're getting closer to the actual event, I kind of want to ramp up my videos talking about the convention. But in this video, I want to talk about creating your own uh, ticket insurance. Um, the reason why I bring this up at a little past 9.30 in the morning after pulling a, a 12 hour shift a couple hours ago is because I I look on uh, different forums and stuff uh, of stuff pertaining to Anime Expo and I see people who are trying to sell like as of now like trying to sell their their four day badges or or uh, premiere passes stuff like that and while that may seem fine and dandy um let me just read the policy uh the anime expo 2018 uh refund and transfer policy which was last updated on uh 3 9 2018 so that's march 9th 2018 so this is a fairly updated policy, which I encourage you guys to always try to stay update on their latest policies. But anyways, all badges are non-transferable to Anime Expo 2019. So at, at least, at the very least, at this particular point in time, if you can't make it, you're not going to be able to transfer uh, the badge that you have to Anime Expo 2019. Next, refund requests for Anime Expo 2018 badges must be received within 30 days of the purchase date. All refund requests for badges purchased in March 2018 must be received by March 31st, 2018. Next, badges purchased after March 31st, 2018 are non-refundable, non-transferable to other individuals. That means, you know, if, you, if you're trying to sell it because you can't go or decide not to go or for, for whatever reason, yeah, don't do it because you can't transfer it. Let me finish. And other event days for Anime Expo 2018. So that's very important. Let me read that again. Badges purchased after March 31st, 2018 are non-refundable, non-transferable to other individuals and other event days for Anime Expo 2018. All refund requests must be sent via email with, a, with uh, your full name and order confirmation number two, registration at animeexpo.org. And that anime has a dash in between there and expo. And SPJA reserves the right to change the refund and transfer policy at any time without notification. And you can read this for yourself on www.animeexpo or actually anime-expo.org slash register with another slash at the end just in case you think i'm making i'm making it up this early in the morning when i should be asleep but um yeah i wanted to point that out because i see a lot of people and i mean quite a few more than i imagine who would be trying to do this like sell their tickets because they can't go listen i'm not down on you if you can't go because um life happens you know Something could happen to me a week or a day before the con and, you know, I'd just be screwed because I couldn't get a refund. I couldn't transfer it to next year or uh, or to someone else if they wanted to sell it. That, that would just be absolutely sucky. And, you know, it does suck, especially because I am a, a premier badge holder. So I paid like 400 about $425 for my premiere pass last year. But you know, um even if it's if you got the early bird special for like 50 bucks, that's still that's still 50 bucks you're losing. And you know, right now I think it's up to like sorry, like my foot is itching. That was bothering me, but um anyways, 
even now, I think the uh, four-day pass holders are up to like, uh, not 400 but about like $100, somewhere around that ballpark, and it might go go up, increase one more time to like 100 and 500 and 10 I'm not quite sure about that. But, you know, currently, as it stands, this the refund and transfer policy seems pretty straightforward, you know, as of right now with this updated policy. It might might have been more lenient earlier, but as of right now, it's, it's pretty clear that pretty much if you can't go, you're more or less out of a ticket, you know, because now they're using the RFID uh, badges or the badges come with the RFID chip in them, I think, or I'm not quite sure, but it has something to do with that. And, you know, they can, and they possibly will most likely will check some people's badges to make sure, or IDs to make sure it lines up correctly with their badges. So, yeah, I wouldn't want people to uh, buy a uh, badge, whatever badge it was, if you if you can get it, if you, if you can get it for cheaper, let's just say they're selling it for cheaper than what it is. Honestly, at this point in time, I would not do it. You know, I was just pay the Anime Expo uh, basic price for it because of what this updated policy has said. Now, to the uh, other people, they might be like, well, how dare you? Like, you're judging me. Like, listen, I'm not judging you. Like I said, anything could happen. Life happens, you know. Life isn't put on hold because, you know, I paid money for a con. I could be on my way to work tonight and get killed in a car accident. And you know what? Anime Expo will just have my money. And that's the way it goes. But I don't want this to be a too depressing video so I won't dwell on that point but um yeah I, I make this video because I want you guys to be able to protect yourself if I if you can I'm thinking about or at this point it's kind of confirmed in my mind I want to go to uh anime NYC next year so I'm uh I actually looked at their policy and they actually have something called uh, ticket insurance that you can get. I think it's with Ticket Guardian. And I put in their prices to get like a quick quote. And as of at least for today, like if I was to purchase a ticket for this year, let's just say I purchased the uh, mega ticket, which is kind of like the Premier Pass ticket. Uh, what the Premier Pass ticket is to California. Uh, to California's Anime Expo, the uh, mega ticket would be the equivalent to the uh, Anime NYC. So that's, I think it's like $295 or $265. So insurance on that would be, is like $918 when I, put, when I put it in, which is not bad. And it's totally worth the price of investment in case I did want to go. And the uh, weekend pass is 65, so I put that in too. And the date, which is I think is the event start date, which I believe is November 16th for this year, November 16th. And that was like $4.23, so definitely worth the price of investment. I guess you're like, well, why are you saying this? Because Anime Expo doesn't have anything like this. And yeah, that's true, but seeing their insurance. Uh, insurance policy or insurance ticket insurance protection plans it kind of inspired me to make this video and even though uh, anime expo does not have this although they should get it but even though they don't have this this gave me the idea to make a video telling you guys or not telling but in, but to encourage you guys to create your own ticket insurance and what do I mean by that? Well, as soon as you decide that you're ready and, you know, you want to go to Anime Expo, which the earlier you decide, the better, I, I would, yeah, go ahead and purchase the ticket if you want. But you know what? Then afterwards, you need to make sure you have enough money to uh, save up 
on the side just in case for any reason for any reason you can't go or change your mind or whatever it is life happens people change their minds I would set a little savings jar or little separate say uh, a bank, uh, bank savings account to put that money in there you know if you're really serious about that um, I know for next year they'll probably have a time limit to where you can transfer or get a refund and yeah you would want to bank on that first but let's just say it's May or um, April and you can't do you can't really officially do the transfer or refund and then you're just out of your money if you want to proceed about things the uh, official way, which I definitely encourage. Well, if you save that money over time, and let's just say you're, you just want the uh, four-day pass weekend. Let's say you get the early bird special, which might be $60 next year. You can put aside $10 a week or, you know, $20, uh, $20 a month. For around there if you get it early like and I'm talking about like within a year in advance and just don't touch that money save it in a jar or whatever put it aside that way in case you can't can't go you don't have that money and how can you save up that money well you can cut out eating out for a while you can skip the uh, the cup of joe or the Starbucks and just at least until you can make that money back that way, worst case scenario, you can't go and Anime Expo can't or won't do anything about giving you a refund or allowing you to transfer your ticket. Boom, you will have that money ready and you can take it and, you know, and I, I would recommend just forget about it. You know, put as much as you need in there to save up for the exact price of your ticket or tickets you're paying for and call it a day. Use that money from what you've cut out in your life or pit back for it you know small increments can work best for a lot of people especially if you're on the budget but yeah the earlier the the better so if you do that you know at least you'll have that backup in case you know like i said you're screwed on anime expo side and or i guess you're kind of asking me well ultimate warrior have you done this are you doing this I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I have not done it. I don't plan on doing it this year. In the event I can't go, I'll just, I'll just lose my well, $425 or whatever it was that I paid for my Premier Badge. But definitely next year, I plan on going to Anime Expo. So I plan on saving the money for that. You know, at, at that time, it'll probably be like $500. But, you know... It, if it's probably gonna be a bit more expensive for me cuz I'm hoping to get at least two premier badges but it's just one of those things where if you, you put it aside and you, you do that as soon as you purchase that ticket and know how much you paid you start that savings near immediately as fast as you can that way you have a year like I said the earlier the better because if if you decide you can't go or figure out you can't go and it's like two or three Two to four months before the convention, that might be a bit hard, especially if you're gonna if you had the premiere pass. So yeah, but I think it's totally doable. Might take a bit longer, or I might have to just cut out a lot of eating out, or just kind of hunker down and um, just save a lot of money ahead of time, and just put that money to the side and just forget I had it. And then if hopefully the time will never come. But if it does, boom, I'll have the money. So that's kind of what I would encourage you guys to do. I know it's not really insurance insurance, but hey, it's better than being totally screwed out of your money. And, you know, especially if you're flying or in or whatever, I, like I hope, hopefully your airplane or hotel Thing could be handled really not really not sure about that part I wouldn't go as far as doing that I would talk to the uh, flight or the plane for that maybe get insurance on their end at least for the flight but you know this uh, specifically for anime expo I would definitely look into creating your own insurance policy for the year just in case we hope that nothing comes up or you know 
something like that or if you like hopefully you don't change your mind and decide not to go but if you do at least you'll be protected somewhat i know it's not like a discounted price where it's like okay i pay for this expensive 400 dollar 500 hundred dollar ticket and i get the insurance for 30 bucks but hey it's better than nothing but yeah, I wanted to keep this video pretty short. I think I've gotten my point across. So, yeah guys, if you happen to like this video, or you're a fan of video games, or uh, drink, taste, uh, drink testing, taste testing, toys, reviews, stuff like that, then feel free to check out the rest of my channel. And if you would like to contribute to my GoFundMe account to help uh, help me and my nephew get to Anime Expo, which, by the way, I, I'm saving the money for that. So, I'm, I plan on going whether I raise a, a someone's honking the horn out there, but I, I plan on going uh, whether or not I raise any money or not. Although, it would make for a nice buffer, but if you want to check that out and maybe uh, donate $5 or whatever, I'll have the link for that in the description below. And if you want to help out in another way, I also have an eBay store. Well, I call it a store. eBay wouldn't call it a store, but I call it a store. But if you want to check out my eBay store, I'll also leave the link for that in the description below. So yeah, guys, feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe, do what you got to do, and I will see you all in the next video. Alright guys, talk to you later. Bye.